so I saw Kajillionaire, and when I screened it, I immediately got this really cool vibe of the grifters with Angelica Houston and John Cusack from back in the day, but like uh, a but like uh, a different yeah. crazier version of it did that ever yeah. enter into your subconscious while um coming up with this one? Yeah, I think that and there was sort of like a cocktail of like the old Mission Impossible TV shows that I used to watch as a kid and um, and and uh, honestly there were like books that my dad read to me. I mean there was always this sort of fascination with like heists and grifters and um, and so it was a real easy language for me but but none of those most of those things didn't really have anything to do with like an emotional life I could relate to. So that was a great challenge with this. One yeah. of the things that struck me is that this, at the end of the day, is a story about love and being loved and what that looks like in all different shapes and forms that it comes in. And uh-huh. I was wondering why you chose to make that family unit the way that they were, with the mother and father being so disconnected, but yet Odolio still came out of it with a sense of being reborn, so to speak. It was like a death of her old life and, and a, a uh-huh. fresh born life into this new existence she's about to experience. Yeah, uh, you, you, you really got it. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I guess I felt like it's like, I feel like, you know, we're reborn and transform again and again through our life if we're lucky. Um, but but for most people, like one of the first transformations is when you leave your parents' home and you suddenly realize that everything that you thought was reality is is really just just the family, just the family that you grew up in and, and the rest of the world doesn't do things that way. And of course, it's really heightened in this movie, um, but I still think that that moment of like claiming the world for your own and that you can do things differently is quite powerful and um and you know it's just a simple thing that happens between generations uh i just wanted to get (laughs) um a little insight on your thoughts about the new rulings that came down from the academy regarding you know more inclusion and diversity in filmmakers and their filmmaking TV shows and their TV, you know, all that kind of thing. How, how, how do you feel right. about that? Cause I'm going to tell you how I feel about it from a, from in a certain extent, I feel like I don't want to make somebody have to do something. If someone is going to include someone of another ethnicity, I want them to include that person because of their artistry, not because of their race. Well, I, I'm with you on that. Totally. Um, I guess I also think, about things like like equity and payment you know like with that we don't we don't say well I feel like you should pay me the same because you really believe I did a good job (laughs) the same as a man you know it's like no no one's gonna do that you know they're gonna pay you as little as they can get away with and not to be totally cynical but um I I think that maybe the consciousness is just not going to be there without some sort of um, use of just, like, public opinion, just, like, creating a culture where, like, this is what we do because and, and because it benefits all of us, because we are all connected, and it, it, it's going to benefit the movies, and if you don't know that yet, you soon will. And I don't know, that's just... Another way to look at it, I guess. And I appreciate your filmmaking and your artistry is so fresh and unique and different. And we need that out here, you know, with everything coming out with cookie cutter, cardboard ideology behind it. So I appreciate you and your filmmaking from that perspective. And I really thank you for taking time out of your busy day from your child and homeschooling (laughs) to talk to me. Of course. Thank Thank you. You're welcome, Miranda. Take care. To keep up with The Curvy Critic, like our page here, click that subscribe button, and click that bell for notifications. Love, peace, and hair grease, y'all.